everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to try these Slim Jim fried pork rinds out. We're going to give them a review. Also, we're going to get some footage of the beach back here. We are in Crystal River, Florida. It's beautiful out here. It's pretty windy, a little chilly. I got my jacket on. I might take that off. Uh, hopefully I can get the drone up. I don't know. It's really, like I said, it's really windy. Monkey's back here doing her intro. And there she comes so we're going to tear into these and give these a try stick around it's going to be a lot of fun today okay guys i'm here with monkey one hey everyone we're going to try these out now uh i never heard of them I never seen anything about them and she hasn't either she picked these up for me yesterday when her and her mother went to the store and she said she always says i got a video for you she or she says i got you a video so what that means is she got me something to try to review for a video so um so i was like well i'll go ahead and uh, i'll check it out on youtube and i didn't watch any videos but they're all over <laughs> and it came up like mostly about a year ago that must have been when it came out but i never heard of them so i'm going to give them a shot uh, like i said you know a lot of people have uh so i don't know what they're because i didn't want to spoil it by watching them so i don't know what the what their reviews are or anything like that so i wanted to try them out with you guys hopefully it's not too dark and you can see um chicharoons is that what it's what it is yeah. Shit your, shit your room. Squealing. These are squealing hot. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shit your or whatever. And then after we do this, we're going to go down here and do some filming of the water. Hopefully the wind will die down enough where I can get my drone up and uh, get it up in the air. I guess there's a pier over here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can, uh, Monkey wants to get some Monkey water underwater shots with her camera. She's never had it underwater yet. Oh, look. Oh, cool. Yummy. Ooh, they smell hot. They don't smell like any damn. They must not supposed to be taste like a Slim Jim, but... I don't know. They must be made by Slim Jim. Here's the nutrition facts. Hopefully you guys can see it. We're under a little pavilion here, so it's a little dark, but you can pause that and Read that if you want. And, uh, try a little one. Salud. Salud. Thank you, Donk. Good flavor. Got it, Monk? Yeah. Yeah, they're not hot. Very Maybe they good. They take a little bit. Two thumbs up so far. Yeah, they're good. Oh, I like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I can taste. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The Slim Jim. Yeah, you can you can feel it. Um, it does have a hint of a Slim Jim. It does kind of kind of have that little hint. Mm -hmm. Um, very good. Mm -hmm. As far as squealing hot, no, they're not. <laughs> Had a lot hotter. But that's not a game changer for me. I still like them. Mm -hmm. I've had some barbecue pork rinds that were a lot hotter than these, but as far as being good, okay, that one's got a little heat. Yeah, it depends what one you grab. I think the first one was mild. Maybe the deeper you go, the hotter they But remember, go. after this, we're going to have some, just some fun footage for you. Mm-hmm. Very good. What do you think, Mama? Very good. Very good? Yeah. All right. So, in the review part of this, I'm glad I didn't watch them. Oh. I'll tell you what, the aftertaste that you always get on anything is amazing. Mm -hmm. I think they're very good. Very good. They're not hot. No. There's a little bit of spice, tiny bit of heat. I think anybody could, um, could handle these even if they're not. 
Well, unless they're waiting to get to the very bottom, maybe they get a little bit hotter. Well, no, I don't think so. But I it's a like little it. bit of heat. Yeah. But the, it's packed full of flavor. Two thumbs up for me. What yeah. do you think? Oh, yeah. You I like, like them? them. Yeah, okay. they're good. Yeah, so um, I know Ben, he, he can't eat a lot of hot things. No. But I, I think he I think you could handle, handle these, Ben. I think they would be all right for you. All right, guys. So that does it for the review part of this video. Now... Now we're off the clock. Now we can go have some fun. There you go. <laughs> Yay! Stick around for more fun. It's going to be packed full of fun today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get some drone footage. Stick around, guys. Okay guys, we're on the boardwalk. This is pretty cool. There's a parking space over that direction. And we were just out out there, the B-roll you just saw. Got a little pavilion here that you can also rent out for parties and such. Yeah. You can reserve it. Um, this is a boardwalk, very nice through here. I just put some music with the uh, with the last clip because it was so windy. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the drone up. Uh, I should have brought the pan head, and I would have had a smoother pan for you. But uh, you know, hindsight's 2020. But it is nice through here. 
monkey got cold so we had to leave a lot of people fishing back there so yeah we'll be out here go fishing because that's the part of it that's salt water so we have our salt water fishing license so we can do it yeah we have salt water and fresh water license yep so That'd be cool. we can fish anywhere in the state of florida yep. any body of water so we got the dual licenses which i don't know are they coming up in march no i don't think so i think huh. we did it in the summertime didn't we I don't know, I'll have to check. but it's no biggie. They wasn't wasn't very much for no. both. So, no. and you got different rules, different regulations for different fish. So. Yeah. yeah, pretty cool. Nice. Out here. And we're coming out to the beach area where we did the uh, the review. We were right over there at that little pavilion there, off to the. Well, probably about the center of the screen. That's where we were at. So, we're going to find a place that's not so so windy. We are on the Gulf of Mexico, as you've seen in the last clip. A couple, couple islands. You go past them islands, and then... Now, if you look over by where I was panning towards the smokestacks, out that way is Cedar Key. So, very nice. All right guys, so we're gonna go find a place to put the drone up.
Hey guys. Well, hope you enjoyed our little review and our little vacation mm -hmm. and some of the footage we shared with you guys. And the drone did well. Yeah, really impressive. It really. did very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, a little update on that hand warmer. I'll mention it again in another video. Um, I didn't use it the other night. It wasn't cold enough. But I did use it. My phone got down to 17%. And the hand warmer warmed it up to, or warmed it up, yeah. Charged my phone back up to, what did I tell you, 72%. Mm. So that's pretty good. I just thought it was a maintainer. Like you can plug it in and make a car or something, but it actually charged it back up to 72%. So that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed our, our footage. She's gonna have a video up too, so. Yep. Yep. And she'll have some drone footage as well, I figure. That's what I got it for. <laughs> for you or me? For both of us. More for you, though. But you always have my footage. I know, it's funny, isn't it? I told her I can mount her camera underneath that drone and it'll take it up with no problem. But she said she don't want her, her camera up 200 feet. Uh, I told her it wasn't going to be 200 feet, it'd be 400 feet. Hmm. What if a it long crashes? Way up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to end this by some footage of landing the drone right perfectly on an X that happened to be painted into the uh, the parking lot there. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know why that X is there, but I it's there, know. and we used it to take off and land on. So. Yeah. But. Nice. We had the drone up, the highest we had it was 222 feet, wasn't it? 220 feet. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go any higher because she was afraid of the wind, and but it seemed to be pretty stable to me. So. Yeah, it was amazing. And really. in the one clip you saw where we was just buzzing back and forth, we were doing a speed test on a short run and we had it up to 32 miles per hour. That was that was cool. It went zing. She yeah. went wow. <laughs> That's pretty fast for a damn drone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. So we're really. gonna leave you with the footage of landing the drone, and she got to fly it a little bit. Well, she she did it though. She took off, flew back and forth a little bit, and then landed. So yeah, all I'm by a little herself. nervous about it. I don't want to ruin it for her. So. Well, we got insurance on it, so. I know, but. As long as we have the drone, it can be either repaired or replaced, so. Yeah. Now, if it goes in water and I can't retrieve it, well, I'm screwed then. Yeah. But if I crash it, which I crashed it once, if she crashes it and it gets damaged, if I run over it with the truck, it's covered. So. Right. And by the way, the name of the drone is the Spirit 2. Mm-hmm. So, we'll end with the Spirit 2 landing. Shea Bear 1000. Uh, the myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone for now. I forgot what I was going to say. Monk. Monk says she's out for now, y'all. Have a great week. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.